and now in business a Nigerian international aviation consultant and the CEO of African Aviation Services, Nick Fadugba, has been appointed to the interim board that would reposition South Africa Airways, SAA, the country's floundering national carrier. The government of South Africa, through a statement from the Department of Public Enterprises, appointed Fadugba and others to the board to reposition SAA as the airline looks forward to a new beginning in 2021. The constitution of the interim six-member SAA board would see to the restructuring of the airline for profitability and professionalism. The DPE, which made the announcement in a recent statement, said that they expect the board to restore proper governance and oversight of the airline during the implementation of a business rescue plan. Now joining me to discuss this, I have aviation consultant Olumide Owayo on the show with me. Thank you so much, Olumide, for joining me. Thank you. Good All right, so I think the first question would be, why Nick Faduba? Um, the SAA has been running for a number of years and over ten, over a, over a decade now that they have not been profitable, unfortunately, but they're still in existence. And Nick Fadugba is a Nigerian, a Nigeria where we don't even have a national carrier. So what makes him an attractive individual to sit on this board and carry such a burden of attempting to restructure SAA? Well, um, when, a, when a prophet does recognize his own home, mm. then someone else will tell you you have a prophet, a good prophet indeed. Um, Nick has been a good guy. Grew up here in Nigeria, went to University of Lagos before moving over to Europe. And uh, since he left for Europe, he has always taken African aviation mm. as his primary concern and his priority. And like you said, in your intro now, it's the name of his company. He has published African aviation magazine for over 15 years consistently, mm. holds conferences, aviation conferences, seminars, and programs within the African region regularly. And it's not that he, 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 he's made himself, not, he, he deals with both with the MRO, that's the maintenance repair side of the operation, mm -hmm. commercial aspects, mm -hmm. and almost all the ramification that has to do with uh, scheduled and profitable operations of aircraft. That has been his specialty, and he has done that so well. He comes home regularly, mm -hmm. attends uh, conferences, he has met with government officials, but unfortunately, or like in the Nigerian factor, yeah. nothing, yeah, ne Nick has never been taken uh, to, to, power, to pioneer or lead any of the Nigerian um, organizations or processes. All, the, all, all he has done is come, advise, and, and, and he goes back. And I remember one good thing he said uh, uh, before this national courage issue, he had to do with the Eric and Aero. He was, first, he was among the first to tell the government to bite the bullet and deal with the Eric and Aero situation that they cannot continue to have two government owned carrier and then be going and go, be, be pushing um, a, a new national, and a, a national mm -hmm. carrier. Mm -hmm. that something must be done with those two carriers before you start talking about national carrier. And you can also build your national carrier from those two carriers if you are doing very well. So that's it. That, that's it. You know, I, I don't envy his new job yeah. uh, because uh, South African Airways, like Air India, is the behemoth that has mm. continued to uh, lose money and not attractive to buyers due to the liabilities from uh, pension and overhanging like grandfather rights that, that, that they have. So um, it's part of a team that has been asked to see where, where they can turn that airline around. All efforts in the past to turn SA around have been very difficult and has failed. I just hope that something, something will come up this time. But you know, for the first time, um, SA has come to the ground. They have grounded their aircraft. And now when, 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 you, when, you, when you park and think you want to start afresh, there's that power to say, okay, yes, we can do something. That but I know they will have a strong opposition yeah. from the unions. Oh, thank you for mentioning the unions. You talked about biting the bullet, and we've had conversations about SAA, and many people are wondering when the government will bite the bullet when it comes to the unions. It's an organization that needs to bring in more technology, streamline its workers, and in terms of what uh, unions have been asking for in terms of salaries, a salary increase, even when you want to lay off workers and they're talking about emoluments, it's simply something that we see that SAA cannot afford. What will it take for the South African government to bite the bullet when it comes to the airlines and how the unions, unfortunately, in the way, have been able to hold government ransom? I think um, now they've set up an interim board in, mm. in bringing professionals from all over, all over Africa and world to come together and with, uh, with a consultation with some other consultant, consultant organization that they have with them. I, I think the government should, for, should be able to convince the unions that uh, they, what is important and paramount to everybody is to have a carrier that is flying and viable. As, the, as it's where the, the structure yeah. of South African Airways cannot continue or have this number of staff and you know. So the government is just finding a way, rather than continue to give money 
to to as palliative to the SA. I think that that palliative should not be in paying the pension and gratuity of those stuff so that the airline can start afresh. Okay. Right? And it has he has he has the power. They have the market mm. and they have the economy to restore South African Airways into a brand new profitable airline. Even Today though, in Africa, we really have Ethiopian Airlines as a profitable airline. Yeah. And I think South African Airways has, has a potential to join ET. And even though, unfortunately, a lot of the airlines will be battling to come back and to fly back after coronavirus, tourism is down, numbers are down as well. So that's a battle they all have. But finally, on the bailouts, we know that there's a bailout hanging for SAA right now. Uh, government has said that certain things have not been met in order for the bailout to come out. Um, the airline has said they need to bring it out. They appointed a new CEO. Um, I think early la early this year to sort of also help along. So now new CEO still getting money from government. Now an interim board to bring back professionalism and, and profitability to SAA. Mm -hmm. What do you think will happen in the coming 2020? Um, South African Airways are it's a loss making airline and uh, for over I, I stress all the time for <laughs> over a decade. Yes, it's a loss making airline and all efforts to get to get it back to profitability mm -hmm. has failed. Now when uh, when an airline was was not profitable before COVID. Then you, with, yeah. with the COVID attack now, you, you know they are going, running deep down into mm -hmm. into complete liquidation. So yeah, there will be more funds released now because uh, this time around, this this palette is not only for South African Airways, but it's almost for every sector of the value chain mm -hmm. of the South African aviation economy. That's what this new palette is, and South African will also benefit from that palette. But you see, beyond the palette, you cannot continue to seek money into an organization that is not returning money. Mm. So the government must, uh, must, like you said, we should be bold enough now. Take the bullet okay, with this interim government, unions, you're the only problem I have. I need you to understand. Let us work out your pensions, your liabilities, and allow the new interim government, uh, inter interim board to be able to fashion the way out for South Africa. But the most important thing for them, the, uh, what will happen is when, when, you, when, you, when, when you come so low as an airline, you, the first thing that's, that that's sacrificed are those international rules, longer, yes. longer flights. Yeah. So that's what you're going to expect. And that's what I said today. We don't have South African Airways on the Lagos Joba route. Yeah. Your APs are just started. And that's about the yeah, Once a week? Uh, mm -hmm. Twice. Okay, twice, twice a week. week. Mm -hmm. That's about the only airline on the Lagos Joba route. And I, and I think this is an opportunity for the journalists, which is more painful. We, at this time when others are, are failing, we're not there to capitalize or make sure we're supporting this. And that's also, we also need to look at ourselves before talking about South African Airways. All right. So we'll continue this conversation because African Airlines are going to face a, a massive, massive challenge in 2021. But we're going to see who can pull through. Olumide Omwayo, thank you so much, Aviation Consultant, for joining me on New Central Now. Thank you. Good morning. All right. So we'll take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up the news.